Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of Bedtime Stories. As the sun sets and the moon takes its place, we find ourselves embarking on yet another journey into the realm of imagination and adventure. Today, we unravel the story of the three snake leaves, a tale of courage, love, betrayal, and justice. This is no ordinary tale. It is one that transcends time, resonating with the echoes of bravery, love, betrayal, and retribution. A tale that reminds us of the heroes who fought valiantly, the promises made in love, the treachery that lurks in the shadows, and the justice that eventually prevails. So dear listeners, sit back, relax, and let the magic of storytelling transport you to a world far, far away. A world where heroes rise, love blossoms, and justice is served. Let's journey together through the pages of this timeless tale. Let's begin our journey into the kingdom where a poor young man sets out to carve his own path, only to become the savior of his kingdom. Let's dive into the tale of the three snake leaves. Once upon a time, there lived a humble young man, burdened by poverty and the inability to provide for his father. With a heavy heart, he bid farewell to his old man, setting off on a journey to carve his own path. Destiny, it seemed, had extraordinary plans for him as he found himself enlisting in the service of the king of a mighty empire embroiled in a savage war. His bravery shone brightly on the battlefield, his strength and courage becoming a beacon for his fellow soldiers. Shots rained down, comrades fell, and hope seemed lost when their leader too succumbed. Amidst this chaos, our brave young man shouldered the weight of his fallen comrades and stepped forward, his voice resounding across the battlefield, we shall not let our kingdom fall. His sheer audacity sparked a renewed vigor amongst the remaining soldiers. His courage was infectious. With iron-clad determination, he led the charge, driving back the enemy forces and securing a victory for his kingdom. It was his courage, his strength, and heroic deeds that single-handedly turned the tide of the war. News of his valor reached the king, who in awe of his bravery, bestowed upon him great treasures and elevated him to the highest ranks within the kingdom. But as time passed, the hero of the kingdom started fading into the annals of time. The same people he had once saved began to forget his heroic deeds, and the savior of the kingdom was reduced to a forgotten hero. Undeterred by this fall from grace, the brave soldier held his head high. He had saved his kingdom multiple times, not for recognition, but out of his unyielding love and loyalty towards his homeland. As the echoes of his past faded, he embraced the winds of change and decided to embark on a new journey, a new adventure, leaving behind the kingdom he had once saved. The king had a daughter who was a vision of unparalleled beauty. Her alabaster skin was like a moonlit night, her eyes as deep and sparkling as the most precious sapphires. Her hair, a cascade of dark satin, fell to her waist in waves. Her grace was such that her every step seemed more a dance, and her every gesture was poetry in motion. Her beauty, however, was not only what caught the eye of a brave and smitten soldier. It was her strength, her courage, and the enigmatic aura that surrounded her. The soldier admired her resilience, her passion for life, the way she approached every challenge with a spirited heart, and the strength she portrayed in the face of odds made her irresistible to him. His love was not born out of her beauty alone, but of the admiration he had for her character, her will, her courage. She had made a peculiar vow to accept no one as her lord and husband, unless he promised to let himself be buried alive with her if she died first. If he truly loves me, she mused, what would life offer him after I'm gone? She too was willing to make the same sacrifice if he was the one to pass first. The enigma of this vow had kept all suitors at bay until the soldier, captivated by her radiant beauty and intrigued by the mystery she embodied, asked for her hand in marriage from the king. His love for her was so profound that that he was ready to take up her peculiar vow to share her fate. Are you aware of the promise you must make? The king asked. I must be buried with her, he replied, if I outlive her. Yet my love for her is so profound that I do not fear the danger. My life is hers, in life and death. The words echoed his vow of eternal love for her. The king then gave his consent and a grand wedding was held. Life went on blissfully for the pair until a grievous illness befell the young queen and no physician could save her. As she lay there lifeless, the young king was reminded of his chilling vow. 
Terrified at the prospect of being buried alive, he realized there was no way out. The king had stationed guards at all exits, making escape impossible. The dreadful day arrived when the queen's remains were to be interred. The young king was led into the royal vault along with her lifeless body and the door was firmly shut and bolted. In his travels, the soldier stumbled upon a magnificent edifice, an imposing castle. Inside its formidable stone boundaries, he discovered a princess ensnared by a baffling enchantment. The soldier, already carrying a heavy heart burdened with past afflictions, found himself empathizing deeply with the distress of the enchanting princess. He embarked on a dangerous expedition, traversing through shadowy woods and perilous landscapes in search of the elusive trio of snake leaves. Every stride he took, each hurdle he triumphed over, mirrored his own internal battles. Next to the princess's resting place, a table was meticulously set up, providing four glowing candles, four bread loaves, and four bottles of aged wine. The ominous undertone of this arrangement suggested the grim reality that once these supplies ran out, his doomed fate of starvation would be sealed. Thus he sat there, engulfed in pain and sorrow, meticulously apportioning his daily intake to a minuscule piece of bread and a modest sip of wine, while feeling the icy presence of death slowly closing in. His vigilant eyes watched as a snake emerged from a hidden recess, slithering its way towards the princess's lifeless form. Perceiving it as a threat to her, he drew his blade, vowing, As long as breath fills my lungs, you will not harm her, and partitioned the snake into three sections. After a while, another serpent appeared from the same opening. Upon finding its companion lifeless and separated, it withdrew, only to return, carrying three green leaves between its jaws. With precision, it reassembled the fragmented body of the dead snake, placing a leaf on each wound. Astonishingly, the detached parts reconnected, and the snake was brought back to life. The two serpents then hastily retreated, leaving the miraculous leaves in their wake. Driven by curiosity and desperate hope, the soldier pondered whether the remarkable properties of these leaves could be beneficial to humans. With this idea in mind, he collected the leaves and gently placed one on the princess's motionless lips and the rest on her shut eyes. Almost instantly her blood started to flow, replacing her deathly pallor with the glow of life. She gasped, her eyes slowly opened, revealing her disorientation. Ah, oh God, where am I? You are with me, my dear, he softly replied, and shared the remarkable events that led to her revival. He then offered her some bread and wine, and once she regained her strength, he assisted her up. Together, they approached the castle's door, knocking and shouting loud enough to alert the castle guards, who subsequently informed the king. The king himself descended from his throne to welcome them, and was ecstatic to see them in good health. Their misery had eventually culminated. The soldier, now a youthful king, handed over the three enchanting snake leaves to a loyal servant, instructing him to protect them and always keep them close, for they were unsure when they might require their extraordinary powers again. A dreadful change had befallen the princess. When she was miraculously brought back to life, it seemed as though she had been reanimated without her heart. Her affection for the soldier, the man who had revived her from the jaws of death, had ostensibly vanished. As days turned to weeks, the soldier chose to undertake a journey across the vast sea to visit his elderly father. Together, they embarked on a voyage aboard a ship, setting sail on an unforgettable adventure. Yet amongst the rhythmic lull of the ocean waves and the briny sea air, the princess's fidelity began to drift. She was not stirred by the boundless sea, nor the impending expedition, but rather by a malevolent, inexplicable allure towards the ship's captain. Her husband, the man who'd given her a fresh lease on life, who'd loved her with an unwavering passion, unknowingly slumbered while his wife's treachery began to unfold. In the veil of the night, she beckoned the captain, her voice an ominous murmur against the calm hum of the sea. Together they crept towards the sleeping soldier. The princess, with a bone-chilling disregard, took hold of her husband by the head while the captain held his feet. The man who had defied the laws of mortality for her was now tossed into the deep sea by her own hands. After the monstrous act, she turned to the captain, her gaze vacant of any guilt. She began devising their return, scheming to deceive her father with the tale of the soldier's untimely demise during their voyage. She promised the captain power and a throne, 
utterly unshaken by the horrific act they had just perpetrated. However, unbeknownst to them, their appalling act was seen by a loyal servant. He had observed, concealed in the shadows, as his master was cast into the sea and left to perish. As the traitors sailed away, he swiftly released a small boat from the ship, and with the aid of the magical snake leaves, he managed to resurrect the soldier, exposing the repugnant reality of the princess's betrayal. With a formidable strength, they both maneuvered the modest boat day and night, slicing through the waters with such speed that they reached the aging king much before the others. The monarch was taken aback to see them arrive alone and quizzed them about the strange circumstances. On discovering the heinous acts of his own flesh and blood, he lamented, I am struggling to accept that she could have stooped to such depths, but the veil over the truth will soon be lifted and instructed both to seclude themselves in a clandestine chamber, away from prying eyes. Not long after, the majestic ship cruised its way into the harbour, and the remorseless woman presented herself before her father, a mask of distress adorning her face. He questioned, why have you returned solo? What happened to your husband? Ah, my beloved father, she responded, I have returned home bearing a heavy heart. My husband succumbed to a sudden illness during our voyage, and if not for the benevolent captain's assistance, I would have been in dire straits. He bore witness to my husband's demise and can recount the ordeal. The king retorted, I shall resurrect the dead, and unlocked the chamber, ushering the two out. On laying eyes on her husband, she was struck dumb and fell on her knees, pleading for mercy. The king decreed, Mercy is a privilege you no longer deserve. He was willing to share death's cold embrace with you and brought you back from its clutches, but you, you assassinated him in his sleep, and now you shall reap what you have sown. Consequently, she, along with her co-conspirator, was made to board a ship riddled with holes and left adrift on the sea, where they succumbed to the roaring waves. Voice over. As the sun sets on our tale, it's time to reflect on the lessons learned within this intricate tapestry of courage, faithfulness, greed and betrayal. Each character, each action, each consequence, woven together to paint a vivid picture. A picture that though steeped in the fantastical, resonates deeply with our own human experiences. Courage, embodied by the soldier who dared to defy death, not once but twice for love. His bravery serves as a reminder that true courage is not about the absence of fear, but about acting despite it. It's a lesson we can carry with us, stepping forward bravely in the face of adversity. Faithfulness, exemplified by the soldier's unwavering loyalty to his beloved, even in death. His commitment proves that loyalty is more than just a word. It's a deep-seated conviction that guides our actions. Let this inspire us to honor our own commitments, to remain steadfast in our relationships and to uphold the promises we make. Then there's the darker side of our tale, greed and betrayal. The soldier's wife, blinded by her desires, betrayed the one she had vowed to love, leading to her downfall. This grim tale is a stark warning of the destructive power of greed and the devastating consequences of betrayal. It urges us to value the bonds we share, to avoid being consumed by our desires, and to always choose love and trust over deceit. As we navigate our own journeys through life, may we remember these lessons. May we embrace courage and faithfulness and shun greed and betrayal. And above all, may we strive to write our own stories, ones that we can be proud of. As the last words echo, the screen fades to black, leaving the viewers with a moment to contemplate the lessons learned from this timeless tale. Voice over. And with that, we come to the end of our tale, a journey through kingdoms and battles, through love and betrayal, through life and death. Each twist and turn, each triumph and tragedy brought us closer to the heart of our story, closer to the lessons it had to share. You, dear listeners, have been an integral part of this journey. Your presence, your engagement, your willingness to delve into this world with us has made our storytelling a shared adventure. So, as the night draws in and the stars come out to play, we bid you a fond farewell. Carry the lessons of our tale with you as you drift off into the land of dreams. Let them inspire you, guide you, challenge you. Remember the courage of the soldier, the faithfulness of his love, the destructive power of greed and the devastating consequences of betrayal. And as you navigate your own journey through life, may these lessons help you write a story you can be proud of. Good night, dear listeners. Until next time, sweet dreams.